For this dish today, I'm going to prepare a nice winter warming dish. Today, I've got some lovely local lamb. I got from a good friend of mine, Willie Gunn, reared no less than a mile from our house. What I've done is I've diced it into manageable pieces. It's about 800 grams here. Now everything you see in front of you here is from our own cupboards. There's nothing that I've actually purchased especially for this dish. I wanted to show you how easy it is to make a nice heartwarming dish with basic ingredients. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I've got my pans nice and hot here. I'm going to start off with the base of our sauce. For that, we'll add a tablespoon of oil. And we're going to sweat off our onion. One small onion. And we just want to cook that without any colour. And to help that along, I'm just going to add a couple of turns of salt. What will that do? What that will do is it'll extract the moisture from the onion and just help us to get that translucent appearance in the onion without colouring it. It really just slows that down. Now to that, I'm going to add two fat cloves of garlic, which have just been mushed up. Another quick stir on there. Followed by our tomato puree. These are quite handy. You can just take what you need and store it in the fridge. So there's no real waste. We want a bit of tablespoon in there. The reason I'm being cautious with our tomato puree is the tomatoes that I'm purchasing are just basic tomatoes. They're relatively cheap. What I find is in, in other tomato brands, uh, they've got more body to it. So you might have to just tone down the tomato puree. A wee tip here is to just taste the tomatoes. Whatever brand you buy, just taste them before you cook them. And that'll give you an indication to the flavor, strength, sweetness. So we're just going to cook that tomato puree out very quickly. Now to that, also I'm going to add one bit of depth to this. So I'm going to add roughly a three quarters of a teaspoon of paprika, smoked paprika. You could use plain paprika. And just for a bit more heat in the dish, I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. It's at this stage we want, just want to be careful with what we add. We can add just now but we can't take away later on. So if you're making a dish up as you go along you can add some more later on and that'll give you the confidence in preparing any kind of dish. Before that. Now, for this dish, I was going to actually open a bottle of wine, but I thought, rather than tackle into a bottle of wine, a wee trick here is to maybe just add maybe a good careful or tablespoon of cider vinegar. Any kind of vinegar would do. I think maybe the connoisseurs would notice it, but it, it does, it honestly works. Followed by our of tomatoes. And just mix all that together. And what we'll do is I'm just going to swirl out the, the tin of tomatoes with about a third of cold water. We'll just take that to the simmer. Now while that's coming up to the simmer, what I'm going to do is I've got my other pan here where we're going to brown our meat. Now we'll just take that up to the simmer, but before we do, I'm just going to add a stock cube just for a bit of depth. 
Don't be wrong, once we fry the meat, we're gonna need some lovely flavors from the, from browning the meat, which I'll show you very shortly. I'm just gonna crumble the cube in straight into the sauce. It'll pretty much dissolve instantly once it hits the sauce, rather than messing about with hot water and things like that. Don't be tempted to add any more stock at this stage. What we'll do is, when the dish is almost ready, maybe three quarters of the way through, we'll taste it and see how it is coming together. So to our hot pan, we're gonna do this in two or three batches. Again, I've got about 800 grams of lamb here. So we just wanna be careful. See so it's nice and smoking. So into the pan. really nice and brown. We don't want to overload the pan at this stage because what will happen is the heat of the pan will just plummet and the meat will just start to stew and then boil. And what we want to do is we want to get that flavour from the meat. I know a lot of recipes ask for the, um, the meat to be coated in flour and then brown. But what I find with that is the flour burns before the meat brown. Yes, the flour can be used as a thickening agent for the stew itself. But what we can do is, later on, it needs to be, we can actually tweak it with some corn flour. This takes a few minutes, but it is worth it, the end result. We just want to nudge the meat now and again. We don't want to be lifting a pan off the heat. What we're doing there is we'll be rushing cold air under the pan, and again we'll start to stew and boil. There we have it, that is the second batch now fried. Straight into the pan. We don't want to lose any caramelized pieces or any juices in there. So just incorporate that. Now at this stage I'm just gonna taste to see where we're at. Hmm. I think just a few turns of black pepper in there. Bearing in mind we've got the cayenne pepper in there as well for a bit of kick. The seasoning is pretty good just now. So in there we've got the, the onion, the garlic, a splash of cider vinegar, wine substitute, whiff of paprika, touch of cayenne pepper, about a tablespoon of tomato puree. Now we're going to leave that for the next maybe 45 minutes or so with the lid on. We'll come back in about 45 minutes, give it a little stir. It will be on low, just a bubbling, gentle heat. And later on, we'll finish off with a couple more ingredients. So now 40, 45 minutes is up. Now we look at, yeah, you can see it's got more body in it. You can see the, the, the richness in the sauce. Now before I'm gonna add our next couple of ingredients, again, I'm just gonna taste it. Yeah, the depth of the tomatoes, the, the lamb flavor, the sweetness is good, the, the heat from the cayenne pepper. If you were unsure at this stage, well, I'm quite confident. I've done these kind of things many a time, but if, I would urge you at home to maybe write down as you go along, if you're gonna try something else out or tweak it with something else, just write it down. Peppers, one red, one orange. It's at this stage we want to add it because we don't want them to break down too early in, in the dish. Now finally, cannellini beans. We've had them in the cupboard for quite a while. Didn't know what to do with them. So I thought, well, why not just add them into this dish? They have been drained. Again, this is gonna give us more body and substance to the, to the dish itself. If you're not keen on any kind of beans, cannellini beans or any other form of beans, you could peel a couple of potatoes, suitable chunks, and add them maybe at the last 20 minutes or so of the dish. So we'll add the lid on for another 40 minutes. Now, in the last final moments of our dish, I'm just gonna see what we've achieved. 
it's come together real nice. You can see it's not too brothy. It's come together lovely as a stew. The peppers have held well. The beans have held well. Again, another taste. I know I've said so much about taste. Yeah, even the salt content. You would have achieved that with just the one store cube. The heat from the cayenne pepper, it really has come together really well. But I'm not gonna stop there. We could stop there. Now seeing this was a, a basic kind of store cupboard ingredient dish, it's perfect as it is. But I've been trying to use this little beauty up for a while. So a little black truffle. Okay, it's jarred, but it's just ideal for this kind of dish. I'm just gonna break this. It into a nice little slither with nothing like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to add even more earthiness to the dish. Again, this is optional and extras. I know everyone won't have that. It's not very often we have this uh, in our cupboard. Although I am a truffle and a foie gras kind of guy. Just to dish it up. Plenty. It's quite hearty as it is. If you wanted to, some nice crusty bread with that, or some mashed potatoes, or some rice. But as it is, filling, hearty, on these cold winter months. Enjoy.